Hi Digital Marketers, this is Faisal Amin. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to set up page timer tracking or time on page by using of Google Tag Manager in Google Analytics 4. So let's get started. Before I start it, I presume that you have already installed Google Tag Manager on your website and that you have installed Google Analytics 4 with it. If you have not done that yet, then take a look at the description of this video. I'll giving the link. You can check it out. Then back to this tutorial. So go to our Tag Manager container. And firstly, we have to create the trigger for the time on page event. So in the trigger, we have to create a new trigger and click the trigger configuration find out our timer trigger types click the timer and here in the interval sections we have to put the time by the millisecond not seconds and not the minute you have to put milliseconds someone is coming to your website and stay on one minute then you can put 60,000 that means 60 seconds so as a value you have to put 60,000 but for the time saving i am using 30 seconds so i am putting the 30 thousand for the interval limit will be the one and here we can put in the conditions which pages you want to activate the timer so i am selecting the page url contains and the slash and you have adding many types of conditions you can also use the page path equals and slash and also as well as you have to use page url matches rejects and dot and star all of conditions are correct but you have to put in the one condition so i am remove all of the conditions i just using this condition that is page url contents and slash and finally we have to give in the trigger name that is event time on page save it and now create a tag so click the tags new tags in the tag configurations we are selected in the google analytics under the google analytics select the google analytics ga4 event here we're putting the measurement id which we created before ga4 measurement id event name is the custom event you can put any kind of name according to your business goal in my case i just putting the name that is timer 30 second and now we are selecting the trigger that is event time on page which we are created before just we selected the trigger we are all of done just giving the tag name that is g4 timer 30 seconds save the tag now time to testing we are go to the preview option and check out that our tag is working perfectly or not as well as our data passing to our google analytics ga4 property or not so go to the preview connect and we can see that our tag assistant connect with our website and now we are staying 30 seconds for activate our time on page event so wait for 30 seconds and after 30 seconds i will come back to you we are almost passing our targeted 30 seconds now back to the google tag assistant and check out that our tag is working on not so in the google tag assistant we can see that in the left side our timer event is activated here we can also see that our ga4 timer 30 second tag is working perfectly so go to the timer and go to our tag here we can also see that our tag is fired and our event name timer 30 seconds are looking here and our condition is true so now time to look at that our google analytics ga4 property our event data passing to google analytics ga4 or not so google analytics ga4 and go to the admin and the data display sections go to debug view and also here we can see that our timer 30 second event is working perfectly and the right side as an event we can see that timer 30 second event are looking here after 24 hours later as an event you can see that your time on page event are activated with the event sections and as a conversion you can activate this event so finally we have successfully set up page timer tracking or time on pace by using of google tag manager for google analytics 4 thanks for watching this video i will see in the next video with a new topic thank you